This is the Ryder and Lisa Replay. Brought to you by Action Furnace. Fixed right or it's free. What's going on? It's Ryder. Lisa will be in later. But she is not here right now. You need to tell me which of these four options, A, B, C, or D, Lisa is dealing with right now. And uh, if you're right, you're qualified to win a fancy and super exclusive 6 a.m. listener club mug. Option A, she thinks she might be allergic to horses, but spent the day snuggling her head into a bunch of them at the horse track. So she's out getting Benadryl. Option B, she's still sleeping, but was sassy the last time I had to wake her up when she slept in. So I told her next time I'm not doing it. And here we are. C. She is stuck at a train, which hasn't moved in 15 minutes. She texted me saying she thinks it got a flat tire. And D. Her catalytic converter was stolen, so she is currently getting an Uber to get here and should be here in about uh, 5 or 10 minutes. Play 107, Ryder and Lisa. Welcome to the studio. I'm so sorry that I'm late. Okay, so the options I gave, A, B, C, or D... Everybody voted. We got a ton of texts in from oh, votes. I just love 6 a.m. Listener Club knows mm-hmm. what's up. I was laughing because I was driving when you were talking about this, giving the options. Right. So that eliminates one of them. It was not her catalytic converter was stolen. No, I got that stolen like six months ago, though. I was definitely one of the statistics. <laughs> uh, so it wasn't option D. So now we're down to A, B, or C. Okay. What option was the right one? If you guessed A, you are right. Mm -hmm. So I went to Century Mile Racetrack and Casino yesterday, got to meet some of the horses. I was there because they're doing a wiener dog race on September 17th. Right. So they need people to enter their dash hound to be in the race. It's crazy. They put the wiener dogs on top of the horses. No, they don't. What? (laughs) That's not true at all. (laughs) They put the horses on top of the wiener dog. I did ask, though, like, do they have to do the entire mile? And they're like, no, that would take four days. I was like, oh, yeah, true. (laughs) Um, No, so I was petting the horses, got to meet a bunch of them. They love mints. Mm, So you feed them mints. So they were, like, licking my fingers. And then I was driving home, and I was like, I think my mom is, like, deathly allergic to horses. And we both have a really bad cat allergy. So Mm -hmm. I was like, I wonder if I'm also allergic to horses. And I have just been swollen ever since. Like your eyes are puffy. Uh, They're itchy. You're funny looking. Yeah, very funny looking. Thanks. <laughs> so kidding. this morning it was really bad. Yeah. So I had to go get some reactant, which, by the way, at a at a gas station for three little pills is almost nine dollars. Get out of here. Yeah. You can get like a fifty pack at Costco for eight bucks. Well. Anyway. Start thinking ahead. I know. So it's either horses that I'm allergic to, or there's something else. Our roommate's cat has been sleeping on my pillow, and I just realized I haven't changed the pillowcase. <laughs> so that's so probably also probably affecting me. Probably that. And then a, a third option, I've been getting the pumpkin cream cold brews from Starbucks, and they load it with cinnamon. And you think you might be allergic to cinnamon. I, I feel like last season I had this problem, too. <laughs> I'm like trying to think back. I'm like, I think my lips kept swelling up every time I'd get a pumpkin cream cold brew. Right. That's when you got addicted to getting lip filler, right? Is because you like the look? Yeah. <laughs> or that time that I was rolling around in poison ivy and I looked right. like Angelina Jolie. And you're like, dang, like, this is a good look. I look amazing. <laughs> Madonna is celebrating Finally Enough Love, 50 Number Ones Remix Collection. And she celebrated by answering 50 questions from fans. Here are some of them. You'll notice a common theme. (laughs) Greatest guilty pleasure? Sex. Current favorite obsession? Sex. (laughs) What's your favorite thing to make? Wait for it. Love. (laughs) What keeps you going? Sex. (laughs) What's the secret to your success? Sex. What is your life mantra? Sex. It also sounds like somebody's having it yeah, what in, is the background. in the background. I think it's just the background music. Now, what? this got me thinking about the fact that Madonna has 50 songs that are capable of being remixed. 
Good for her. She doesn't care. That's what you're thinking about after hearing all those answers? You just want to hear a Madonna song? Yeah, I remember her song Frozen. <laughs> There's so many good Madonna songs out there. All right. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about, too. <laughs> Play 107. Here's the question. You have a paper clip. You are given five minutes to hide it. Then a detective will enter your home and have 24 hours to find it. Where are you hiding it that you think you'd be able to get away with this thing? It's so funny how your brain instantly goes, swallow it. But that's not the right answer. No, that doesn't sound... It really does. you got to hide it somewhere in your house, right? Yeah. (laughs) Uh, What's your answer? On my dog's collar. Ooh, I like that. Even if you, like, make it look like it's just one of those circles and hook the dog tags to it. Okay, that is so smart, James. Yeah, really smart. This one from Nikki on the text line, 780-784-7107, says, straighten the paperclip, slide it in to your bra... As if it's part of the underwire. Oh my god, that's super smart. That's so smart, especially if they're using a metal detector, which you know that they're going to be doing. Mm -hmm. This answer also involves straightening it out. I think it's from TikTok. I think what I would do is I would take one of my millions of lotion bottles and I would take it out and I would straighten the paper clip and put it in the little plastic tube that you use that's used to like pump up the lotion and then i would just close the bottle back up okay very smart nobody's looking through hundreds of bottles of like half full lotions okay i have an answer i would put it in a toaster because there's so much other Whoa. metals going on and similar shaped stuff and it would probably fall right into the bottom don't you don't think that a detective who's been in the industry oh you think my answer is stupid years, well they're gonna shake a toaster yeah, but maybe you uh, intertwine it in the toaster. Mm, smart. Whatever. No, you're being rude. Okay, what about this? <laughs> Here it comes. You flatten it. You straighten it. You take a picture off the wall. You hammer it into the wall. And then you cover it with, with the nail. Paint. You paint over it. No, they're going to find the wet paint. You got five minutes. Oh, yeah. They'd smell the paint. Mmm. You want to talk about stupid answers? That is a stupid answer now that I think about it. <laughs> hey, Mel said she'd hide it in the, ba- in the container of rice. Yo, that's a good answer, okay. I'd hide it in my fishing tackle or in my container of paper clips. Both great answers. What was the second one? The can- your container of Play-Doh? Paper clips. Oh, another container of paper clips. That's I like brilliant. That. Love it. Thank you for the text. Uh, thank you for the call, sorry. And uh, for all the texts that are rolling in. Yeah, Jeremy says, if I still had my braces, I would be interwebbing them into the top row. That's so smart. Really smart. But then you just got to sit there for the 24 hours. Like, I think you, they'd likely ask you to leave while they search. Chelsea, right? Chelsea says you could just flush it down the toilet. Um, one of those razor blade holes in the wall. I'd put it under the baseboard in the bedroom with carpet, then relax on the couch inside the hot water tank. Janet says I'd put it in the tampon wrapper, and if it was a male investigator, he probably wouldn't look there. Okay, He'd but feel if uncomfortable. If they're using a metal detector, <laughs> yeah, right. they're gonna find it, aren't they? Mags says the battery compartment in a remote control. Well, and that's super good because you you can't even find the remote control. Right? <laughs> That's true. You'd be like, where's the damn remote? <laughs> First day of school for most kids in Edmonton today. Yep. It did start uh, earlier for some others, but it is back to school week for sure. Tara texted in saying, can you please give a shout out to Carly and Chloe? First day of grade five and grade three. Heck yeah. Yes. Enjoy it. Uh, my daughter joins us right now. She's uh, going into her first day of grade six. She's also going to be joining the roast. I don't think she's allowed into the bar no. at those hours. We have some video footage. But she's recorded. <laughs> you helped her a bit with that, mm-hmm. so that should be interesting. Uh, but let's check in. How you doing? Good. What t-shirt did you decide to wear for your first day of school? Uh, my Yale one. Intimidation at its finest. You're going to be showing those other kids how smart you are already. Mm-hmm. <laughs> are you ready for grade six? Yeah. We're just looking up the curriculum of what you're going to learn this year. Do you know what curriculum means? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you're going to be learning about democracy. Do you know what that is? Nope. Okay, so remember that night that I, I asked you what movie you wanted to watch and what pizza you wanted to get, and then I ordered a completely different pizza and watched a different movie because I'm the one with the money? That's kind of like democracy. Yep. Oh. <laughs> 
Also, you're going to be learning and exploring career development, mm-hmm. which I personally think it's too soon. But don't feel too pressured in those classes when they're like looking at you right in the eye and they're going, what do you want to be when you grow up? You better have an answer. You don't have to have an answer yet. Okay. Okay. What do you want to be? What's your answer? <laughs> um, an interior designer or an actor. Nice. Perfect. Uh, you are going to be learning how to be more independent. Mm-hmm. So that means next time when you're sitting and watching Bluey on TV and you're mm-hmm. like, hey, I could really go for a glass of water. Your dad and I are going to be like, get it yourself. Yeah. Independence. <laughs> and finally, you're going to be learning about forests Ooh. this year. Uh, so I just wanted to ask you this one. What is a forest where under all the plants? What? Planties. <laughs> you can use that one if you want. That's good. Now, I know you're not like super excited because it's back to school and summer holidays are over. But just remember, school is a lot like toilet paper. You don't realize how much you'll miss it until it's gone. OK, <laughs> have a good okay. first day at school, kiddo. I love you. OK, thanks. Bye. Bye. Make sure you get a photo bye. of your outfit. OK, bye. bye. A kid in Germany was allowed to change their name. Uh, Usually, they don't allow minors to change their name in that country, which makes sense, right? Uh, But the parents, the kid, and the court have all agreed that Alexa is not a fair name for her anymore because Mm. she keeps getting made fun of because of Alexa, right? Made fun of? Really? Yeah. Or just people saying, like, Alexa, go get me this. Like, that would get old. Well, exactly. And that, I guess, is what getting made fun of Mm -hmm. is kind of. It it would get annoying. Uh, But that's a thing people will use others names against them for sure Mm -hmm. like you used to get it quite bad when you were younger right grease the (laughs) swevens we wanted to ask you what kind of fuel your name gave other people why did people make fun of your name most of these are pretty lighthearted, though, mm-hmm. so we want to focus on that. Marie texted in saying, everyone called me Mary had a little lamb, and I hated it. And, they, and then she even added some crying emojis. So we are kind of bringing up a little bit of trauma, mm-hmm. which I'm not the biggest fan of. But let's all look back on that and just let it go. Mm-hmm. Get it out there. Mm-hmm. Charmaine hit us up and said, kids used to call me chicken chow mein. <laughs> Okay, that's a sweet nickname. Also, Chicken Chow Mein's amazing. Uh, you know what I would go with with Charmaine? Is what? like, I'd call her like toilet paper or like butt wipe. Okay, that's funny. Because Charmin, you know? 780-784-7107. This text says, my name is Bates. My first name is not Master and Norman is not my uncle. Love your show. Thanks from the industrial desk at KMS Tools in West Edmonton. Thank you for listening. Ooh, shout out. Yeah, if you're ever listening from work, you can always add that to the text, you know. And then you'll look so cool in front of the office. Heck yeah. Rich Turd wrote in instead of <laughs> Richard. <laughs> oh, no. uh, my last name was Sherwood. I got called Hockey Stick. <laughs> what time? I don't know. I like these. This text here says, my name is Donut. Kids always called me Donut, then Donut Hole. It got old real quick. Yeah, or Darn It. Darn it, yeah. <laughs> what do you got? My name is spelled K-E-L-C-I. Yeah. My student ID in grade seven got spelt wrong, and it was K-E-K-I. So I went the entire seventh grade being called Keki, and they wouldn't <laughs> change it. So everybody called me Keki for, like, the entire year. Yeah, that's a gooder. And we got a text from Elizabeth. Yeah, poor Elizabeth. People used to call her Lizard Breath. <laughs> <laughs> what would you use to spot a geriatric millennial? That's what I'm in. Anybody that was born between 1980 and 1985 is considered a geriatric millennial. Thin eyebrows that never grew back. Because oh. they were huge in the <laughs> okay. 90s. They really were. Yeah. And, and some people, theirs grew back, others not. Mm-hmm. So maybe that. Okay. Uh, baddest Mama Jamma on Twitter had a different suggestion. And I just want to see if this works for you. I doubt it will, but it definitely would work for me if somebody did it to me. Because you're a geriatric millennial and I'm yeah. an elder millennial, correct? Yeah, I think you're even younger. Or I think I'm you're just, just a millennial. millennial. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So to spot an, a geriatric millennial, just yell, peaches come from a can and see what happens. It's funny that you say that because when you first started playing that song, mm-hmm. 
when I first started working, I was like, I don't really know this song. The only reason I really know it is because of you and how often you try and squeeze it into our show. Oh, of course. <laughs> how did I not know? Peaches come from a can. <laughs> they were put there by a man. It's Play 107 with the presidents of the USA and Peaches. See, I think of Peaches and Cream. No. That song. Uh, so we just played Peaches by Presidents of the United States. But when I hear the word Peaches... I'm definitely just millennial, not geriatric millennial, because I think of the 112 song, Peaches and Cream. Mm -hmm. And I think of presidents of the United States of America. Mm -hmm. And then think of the next generation. They're thinking of Justin Bieber. I mean, we all are. That's a good point. You, you look for the people that are pissed off when you group them in with the millennials. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's a good one. I like that. Yeah. like I'm, I, uh, I don't know how the years work out, but I was... I don't know, a year younger than you in 2000. Yeah, so and, you're, a ge uh, you're a geriatric millennial as well. Anybody born between 80 and 85? Here, I'll tell you this. I'm more at ease with being called a geriatric than I am being called a millennial. <laughs> like, just as a standalone comment, you crazy <laughs> geriatric. I'm like, you know what? You're right. I've been through s***. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the kids are back to school, so we're still talking back to school but we can actually get a little more inappropriate now because they're not listening, right? What if they're listening in their classroom? They no, nah, they won't be. Not on day one. They're not like, oh, we're bored. Let's not on day one. True, 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 true. So I came across this stat that I wanted to read. A, a wild amount of people have hooked up on a school bus before. Never in, in my life. In some facet, like Ugh. making out or more. Wait, could this school be school bus be the bus that gets you from a wedding back to the hotel if it's like a small town <laughs> Yo, he's, somebody's Does got a count? story <laughs> uh no i think they actually mean like school, school bus like i know some people have like their school buses cleared out and they've turned them into campers that's not what they mean they mean like school buses okay yeah i don't think that a lot of people do that hmm. you don't huh okay Ryder obviously wants to brag about a story, so let's hear it. You have the floor. No. Tell everyone. Well, let's just say that uh, there's a reason I took the back seat of the school bus every day for grade 12. You took the school bus every day in grade 12? You didn't have, like, a friend to pick you up? It's grade 12. Did you have friends? I lived on a farm. What am I going to expect a friend to drive out to the farm to oh, pick me up for school? Come on. That's fair. Plus, I was... I wouldn't. I would have refused the ride because you were just so busy. Just back there. busy. It was the best. <laughs> you have a Lindsay Lohan update for us. Yeah, let's not forget that she can act. Have you seen Herbie? Yeah. I like. I fell in love with her. Have you seen in that Freaky movie. Friday? Have you seen The Parent Trap? She's good in everything. Mean Girls. Oh, she's in a new movie now. We know that she's doing Hallmark movies, right? Or Hallmark esque type movies, or are they going to be on Netflix? I'm not sure. I feel like there was oh, yeah, rumors about a Hallmark thing. Oh, yeah, she did sign like a three-movie deal with Hallmark. That's wild because, just a quick veer off here, um, there, Hallmark is using my parents' house to film a Christmas movie right now is as we Lindsay speak. Is Lindsay Lohan in your parents' house? I'm going to lose my mind. Oh my God, I hope she sees a picture of me on the wall. <laughs> okay. And he's like, mm, give me some of that bald, chubby guy. <laughs> You're not chubby. <laughs> um... Yeah, that yeah. is wild to think. <laughs> yeah. What if Lindsay Lohan is in your parents' living room right now filming? God. It's so cool because they've cre they've completely transformed Ryder's parents' house into a Christmas house. Mm -hmm. And like they're bringing September. in fake snow and everything. Anyway, so she is... She's going to be in a Netflix movie as well. It's called Irish Wish, which is kind of hard to say, mm -hmm. where she plays a bridesmaid attending a wedding in Ireland between her best friend and the love of her life. Ooh. Sounds good, right? Yeah, totally. Irish Wish. Irish Wish with <laughs> Lindsay Lohan. I hope it's better than the name. <laughs> Play 107, Ryder and Lisa. This is the 90s at 9. Nice outfit, Jenna. <laughs> okay. What? Thanks. Jenna takes over after 10, by the way. Yeah, she goes to the gym, tries to make it to the gym every day. Yeah, good for you. Show. Good yeah. for you. Thank um, you. But what'd you forget? To bring a change of clothes. For after the gym. So that's your workout shirt? What does it say on it? It's got a goose on it. It says, let that one marinate. 
If you watch Letter Kenny, you know. That's a good shirt. It is a great shirt. Nice spit stains. Yeah, yeah. You had a good workout today, we see and smell. Yeah, the, the messy bun. I'm just, I'm here repping the gym look. Yeah, I like it. It's motivating for me. It makes me want to go and work out. Yesterday, I was the stinky person at work mm-hmm. because I forgot to put deodorant on. And then I ended up at Century Mile Racetrack and Casino. And they were like, do you want to meet the horses? And I was like, sure. And there's a horse there named Lisa. And I think everyone that works there was like, okay, why does our horse smell better yeah. than that human? You want to meet the nice smelling Lisa, they said when they introduced <laughs> it to you? <laughs> well, I think you look great, Jenna. Yeah, me too. I wouldn't even have noticed unless what do you, you pointed want from it out. Me? Like, you don't compliment me unless you need something. Yeah, well, what do you I, need? Like, from I her? think you look exactly like you do every other day today. <gasps> so. That's a good one. <laughs> The Ryder and Lisa Replay. Brought to you by Action Furnace. Fixed right or it's free. Play 107.